Old Man Sarge here. I finished my project um, of painting up the Histadi and my the sun's in my eyes, so that's why I'm kind of squinting a bit. Because it's um, it's August 10th, 2024, and I have a, a game that I'm going to be kind of game mastering today. Maybe I'll be playing. I kind of hope not. Uh, I, I want to basically try to make sure that the rule sets I'm understanding to the strongest, the best that I can. So I have a game today that I'm going to be putting together and I finished the Histadi. So I'm going to show you the Histadi units and then I'll give you an idea of the army and what they look like and who they're supposed to represent. So this is my first unit here of his study. So I'm going to try to get my shadow out of the way. So I finished them today. Um, this is a, a real project, at least for me it is, how to, how to do this. Like shields, just for an example on the shields. What I do is I, I prime the shields, black on one side, white on the front, and then after that I paint the backs of the shields yellow, and then I go over the backs of the shields with the wash, um, and after I do that I paint the bronze on the, um, you know, the tops and the what I don't know what you call it, the, the the middle section for the strength of the shield or whatever it's called. And after I do that I paint the white, I paint it white again on the uh, where the yellow is going to be, where the yellow decal is going to go. And these are from Little Big Man Studios. And because white is kind of a weak color, I have to actually, I'll put two coats of white on there. And after I do that then I will put the decals on, uh, or yeah, I'll put the decal, or wait a minute, I wash the bronze and then I highlight it, and then I'll put the decals on, and then I'll go over where the spots are missed with the decal, and I'll put white or yellow back in there in those recesses or the little spots that are missed that are showing up white, and then I'll put a little bit of um, wash over the top of it and then I will uh, um, I guess I'm pretty much done after that I believe and then I'll put the uh, um, I'll put the varnish on the on the shields. Here's the second unit that I finished so let's see make sure I'm not in the shadow there so that's the second unit that I finished this morning for the game. I like these shields. Uh, they go with the army, so you can see that the symbol is a boar. So this is from Victrix, and Victrix has four symbols, I think. A horse, a wolf, um, a boar, let's see, a, a, a wolf, a boar, a horse, and a, and a bull, or a... Um, a cow or a bull, I guess, a bull. So that's what I finished up today. Um, that was a long project. It, it, you wouldn't think it would take as long as it does, but it takes a heck of a lot of time for me to complete it. It took me forever. Now, uh, let's talk about the army. Well, I'll show you the army. So this is the army. It's 96 points of to the strongest. So it's not quite, we're not quite hitting um, 100 yet, or uh, 150, which is my goal. And I don't know if I'm going to actually get a legion that big. I'll have to combine two of them. Um, or maybe I'll just call it a cohort. So I've got three light infantry units in the front. And I put these on, so all these guys are on uh, 40 by 50 millimeter bases. And that way, if you're playing um, 
an earlier, like a plebeian or whatever formation, they're supposed to be smaller units, or for Hail Caesar, then you can put three of them out. So instead of having the four, um, so you could do this, and then if you figure this out, there would be actually four units of, uh, of forces of, of um, Polybian, uh, what is it called? I don't want to say quintax, quintox, but it's like uh, the triplex, where they have the histati in the front, then they have the princope, and then in the very back they have the... Um, the tri triarii. I don't have triarii yet. I have the models, I just don't have them assembled and and uh, put them up for painting. Now, this is a gray unit of cavalry. This is a, a Gallic unit, and I actually purchased a Gallic unit on eBay that was painted up and very well painted, I, th I think, um, but it hasn't arrived, and I ordered it literally like three or week, three weeks ago, so it just and it's coming from Britain. I'm pretty sure, so it takes a long time. So this is this is my force. These will be replaced later on with uh, yellow shields that have the uh, the boar symbols on them. Um, but right now, I'm just using uh, Caesar's legion and this other white one here uh, at the moment. This is Pompey, and this is what I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build Pompey's army. So the symbol, I think this is the third legion, and the Princopes are using the boar symbols for their shields. The Histadi are going to use the white, uh, the, just the plain yellow. And so that's the force. Now let's just kind of go over it in the book real quick as you look at it. Um, so you're supposed to have a, a two generals. I have one general. It's uh, um, Pompey. I have a second general that in this case is Mark Anthony, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, so Pompey and his other general on foot. I have three heroes, three hero markers. They're going to be in the back here. They're not painted yet. I have... Um, actually, this is like 97 points. I forgot about the camp. I have a Gallic Cavalry unit, which is right here, and it's actually going to be a Veteran. So it gets an extra once on one point on the defense. Um, then I have five Legionaries, and it says, um, let's see, Legionaries to veteran, upgrade legionaries to veteran. So this is actually, this is actually theoretically a legal list. So I have five legionaries, right here, and three of them, these three are upgraded to veteran. The other two in the back are just going to be regular legionaries. Um, they have the the legion or the veterans have a five plus save, and the ones in the back, the regular legions have a six plus. And then I have three um, light infantry. Yeah, three light infantry with javelins in the front. And that is the army, and that's about 97 points if I'm calculating correctly. So, this, uh, this should be kind of fun to play. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, assemble the Greek force. I'm going to try to use mostly Greeks, but I think I'm going to use the successor states because it kind of makes more sense for the time frame that, that Rome actually uh, fought some of the successors. So I'm going to actually bring my camera with me and see if the guys are okay with me filming the, uh, the battle and I'll do a battle report if that's the case. Um, Hopefully I don't have to play and I can just concentrate on uh, filming the actual battle report. But yeah, so this army, 96 points. If I add another unit of legionnaires back there, it would be another 10 points. So that would be 106 points. I intend to add another uh, unit of cavalry uh, that I'm, I have on the painting table. But I, it's not a priority right now, but 
once I do that, it'll be another nine points, so it'll be 115 points. So I'm getting closer to the 150 points, which is my goal. I can add a couple more triarii's in the back, but the problem is on the Marion list that I'm using, there's really they don't really use the triarii. Tri this is uh, used only the triarii is used in the Polybian list. Now for the Polybian list, I don't really know. They have a quintex which means that you take like three guys, like you take these three and then these three being the histati unit, for example, and they would be in one box. So then I would have, when I get the other unit completed, I would have one, two, three, four uh, units of the, the uh, quintex. And I don't know what happens with the principes yet, I don't quite understand that. And then these would be velites in the front for the Polybian list. And then you wouldn't have the Gallic Cavalry. I will eventually paint up Roman, actual Roman Cavalry for, for that. Um, but yeah, this is just my really long project of just slowly painting up more and more guys. Once I get this next unit, I've got five guys painted, I think. I need um, 11 more to get myself another unit of Histati. The shields are pretty much I have some shields that are done and I have a lot of shields that are really far along the process so that'll be that'll be nice and then that way I'll have the full cohort or legion however you want to think about it of Pompey's third legion and then I'll start working on the red which is going to be um, Julius Caesar's legion and then <coughs> if I can you know as time progresses and if I if I still keep doing this, then I'll paint up uh, the first legion, which I think is going to be the white legion for Pompeii. And then I have um, some other ideas for the second legion for uh, Julius Caesar. And I'm thinking that Julius Caesar, I will use the, the bull, and I think I'll call it the 10th legion. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do, is, call, is give him the bull symbols and you know, for their standards, and call it the Julius Caesar Legion. Um, and then I have a horse left, which I think I'm going to use for the White Legion, the First Legion. And then I'll have a wolf <coughs> that I can use for the Second Legion for Julius Caesar. The goal is to eventually be able to do Julius Caesar and Pompey fighting each other in the uh, Roman Civil War that basically ended the... Um, the late Roman Republic, or almost ended, I guess I should say. Anyway, we'll be back with another video, um, hopefully, if I can uh, discuss it with my friends, and if they're okay with me filming the battle report, which hopefully they will be, and we'll, uh, we'll see how the Roman legion, legionaries, um, how they do against the Greek or, and successor states. This is Old Man Sarge, thank you very much for watching.